Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Tanya, and if you're returning, today I'm gonna be working on a Dollar Tree Dragonfly DIY. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is paint the toy flute with some multi-surface metallic paint and the color is pewter. And this color is perfect for the dragonfly body. Now I did have to end up mixing a little bit of baking soda in with the paint. I probably should have painted this with the chalk paint and then the pewter paint, but the baking soda worked just fine for this design. And I'll add a couple more layers of that as I go along. Now what I'm gonna be using for the wings of the dragonfly is the chopping mat. And of course, all of these items are from Dollar Tree. And you're only going to need one chopping mat to make the set of wings for one dragonfly. So I'm definitely gonna make one more of these because I think these would be so fun to have on my porch or maybe on one of my trees. Now, what I'm gonna do is just cut this in half and I kinda eyeballed it. You could maybe draw this out with a marker or something if you felt more comfortable doing that. But I just kinda kept looking at the shape of the dragonfly wing and just started at the corner is the best way to do this. And that way you can kind of curve from one corner, you'll see, all the way to the other corner. And that makes it really easy to cut this shape out. Now you will need to hold that plastic together really, really well because it did seem to slip a little bit out of my fingers. But everyone, this design was so easy and all we really needed for this was the chopping mats and one of the little toy flutes. And then I ended up using some of the gold um, rub-on transfers on this. But you can see I started at the corner and I'm just kind of cutting in a rounded shape till I can get to that other corner. And then you can just round off the edges just a little bit and it's gonna make the perfect wing for a dragonfly. Well, everyone, as you probably noticed, this is one of our garden theme DIYs and I'm gonna keep doing these all through April and I'm just gonna try to pop these in the first part of the week. It may be one, it may be two. I'm probably gonna just do one DIY at a time for these and I've got several of them planned. And I think you're really gonna enjoy them. So you'll have to let me know in the comments below if uh, you like that I'm gonna be doing these uh, garden theme DIYs. Now I will tell you, once you start to put these together, I had already laid that top one down and you wanna make sure that the curved part is going to be on the kind of the underneath of the dragonfly. And that really gives the realistic effect. And I used a uh, Gorilla Hot Glue to glue these together. And I've checked it, it's been a few days and it's still holding together really, really well. But if you're concerned about it being outside, you can just take and add some super glue in there also and that should hold really well. Well everyone, I'll go ahead and talk a minute about what's upcoming. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing the garden theme series all through April and I'm not gonna be doing too many of the thrift store makeovers right now. I kinda of wanna get through this garden theme series and work on that. And uh, my daughter and I had taken a trip to Asheville and I was able to film a really neat um, antique store down there. So I've got a video I'm gonna try to get uploaded for you because I really want you to see some of the things that I was able to take a look at. And I did pick up an item or two in there, but we'll be uh, trying to get that video up sometime this week. Now, after I got my little wings glued together, I'm gonna take one of these plastic uh, yardsticks for balloons. And this worked perfect because it was clear and when I painted it, it blended right in. And they're really sturdy. And they're over in this section where they have the party supplies at, at Dollar Tree. And I'm just gonna use that Gorilla Hot Glue and glue that on there and that give this 
plenty of support and the wings just stood straight out and it worked so well. Now I decided I was gonna use my white chalk paint to paint the wings with. And I thought about doing them silver, but then I thought I really wanted that clean white background when I did the gold rub-on transfers. Now I will tell you a little tip that I found out. It would probably be better to go ahead and put a coat of Mod Podge over the white chalk paint because it seemed like the rub-on transfers almost wanted to peel up the white in places. So I think on the next one I make, I definitely am going to put the Mod Podge over top of the white chalk paint. But make sure you dry it really well. Now I'm just using something called corn silk. It's just another multi-purpose paint and I kind of wanted to highlight the little holes in the flute and I thought that kind of give the illusion of how the back of a dragonfly kind of looks. Now I'm just going to glue the flute down to the wings with that Gorilla Hot Glue and like I said use super glue if you want to put it outside because I think that might hold a little bit better. And now I'm just going to touch this up a little bit with some of that pewter paint and fill in some of the little areas. Now the fun part everyone is when I start putting on these transfers, but do keep in mind uh, the next one I'm definitely going to put that Mod Podge on there because you have to be really, really careful with these uh, rub-on transfers. They're not quite as easy to work with as the black and I think it's where that gold flakes a little bit. So just be very gentle when you're trying to apply these. But what I decided to do is just make these wings kind of whimsical and I want to do apply some of the flowers you'll see on here and then I just kind of put some random words but everyone this design I ended up hanging it on my wall actually in the living room for right now and it's just really really pretty but you'll definitely have to let me know what you think of this design today and like I said, let me know if you're enjoying the garden theme DIY series. Well, everyone, now we are starting to move toward the 5,000 subscribers, and I would love to reach that at the end of April. So if you are enjoying my content, I hope you will like and share with your friends. When I do reach the 5,000, I am going to do another $50 gift card for Dollar Tree, and I'm going to add in a few of those little extras for you. Well, everyone, back to our dragonfly. Isn't this turning out so beautiful? I absolutely love this gold with the pewter color body on this dragonfly, and I think it's just going to make a really fun and neat design to have out for the spring and summer. Now I decided just to take some of these little O's and I wanted little gold flakes, just little hints of them running down through the back of the dragonfly. And then I had this little thing of the hearts and I was just adding little accents, but here it is hanging on the wall and I just love how it turned out and I hope you do also. Well, everyone, if you did enjoy the Garden Theme Series DIY today, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you consider doing so because I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. Well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed week and I will see you on the next one.